Hi there, welcome back to Not Another Budget. I'm Nicole and on this channel I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour and if that's something you're interested in following along with please don't forget to stick around and check out the other content that I have created for you on this channel. Now I'm on my sofa because I'm far too warm and comfy to go upstairs and film on my desk so this isn't going to be a long video um, because um, I'm working with a gimbal that is going to run out of battery or a stabiliser, I should say, that's going to run out of battery pretty t pretty soon and we're going to deal with some camera shake. But following on from the first draft of the grid method, which I have filmed and shown you all, I wanted to take you through how I have actually developed this, this further ahead of me doing my, what I hope is a final December budget ready to release to um the YouTube budgeting community and the world. And this is because I wanted to go through and look at, now that I know when I'm definitely getting paid um, on Wednesday, which is this column here, um, how does the month look? When am I anticipating any other extra payments? For example, my universal credit pay, uh, no, my student loan payment down here, and then potentially, and this is what I'm going to work with so I know that I'm playing it safe, my budget um bursaried income i can't speak today bursaried income for january's normal monthly bills and when am i back to school when is christmas etc etc and rather than this being treated as a i'm going to commit um financially to spend and do these things on these day on this date or x day of the week i want to just have an idea of right okay what in terms of when something is happening, what am I going to be doing with regards to filling up with petrol or um, going and getting any food shopping? When am I going to be done by Christmas? When am I going into a town, etc., etc.? So this is very much what this document is for, ready for me to then transfer it into my budget. Um, and equally, I'm not going to sit there and say, right, OK, um, here I'm going to exactly spend uh, £50 pound on food and £50 pound on Christmas and £30 pound on fuel. Once I get this in my normal budget uh, ring binder, I'll be having a greater idea of what exactly is going on. Where am I over leveraged? Do I need to get my income up, which I, th I think I'm going to need to do? Um, and then actually, what is the plan for that? Because following on the theme of like try December for me, there is a theme uh, that is appearing and it is putting all the steps in place ready for me to have a really um, good start to whatever my hopes and ambitions are for for 2024, both in my personal and my financial financial and my health life. Um, so hence, like December for me is going to be a month of planning. It's going to feature quite heavily on this channel. Um, and why not? Um, <laughs> if it if it works and it's something I'm doing and if it's something that helps you guys, then let's have a look. But just very, very quickly, let's just zoom in and show you guys what I've got going on. And this is just very much a rough guide. So we can see as of Wednesday the 6th, I'm expecting £2,000 worth of income in. And then I have got now, I should say that the £850 rent and the £50 council tax payment um, and some fuel and some food, um, mum and dad have temporarily covered, but I have made a note of those specific payments there. So I know that when I pay mum and dad that back, that money out of that £2,000, what it's gone to. So I have tracked it like I would a normal payment. I may need to be shooting through into the city on Thursday the 7th. I'm not 100% sure. But then on the Friday, I know I've got debt minimums coming out. I've got car tax coming out and I will be doing another. Um, well, I'll need to order the cat's medication, which I think is going to be about £130. But again, I won't know that until I've ordered it. Um, on Saturday, I, uh, I'm definitely going through to the town and doing the last of the Christmas shopping bits that I need to do. Um, I'll try and get any teaching things that are there as well. Um, and where I've put £10 fuel and £30 fuel, it's because out of the fuel money I will pay for parking and it's just kind of one thing for the car rather than having multiple little car categories. And we can see as well on Monday the 11th over here where I've tracked other bills. Uh, same again for, <laughs> and this is where I confuse myself, Friday the 15th and Friday the 16th. I wrote them down on the 16th. They wouldn't now be coming out on the 15th or they could come out on the 18th. I've also made a note of where I've got deadlines as well. So I can kind of keep track of, <laughs> so I've got a deadline here. 
I've got a deadline here so I can keep track of actually what I need to have done and sorted that could be something as simple as um, you're not going to have the like I'm not going to have the time to cook a meal from scratch so pull something out to defrost or have something quick ready to eat in the fridge um, and making a note of where am I spending my time and where am I having my days off and once again you know when my money is coming in I'm having an awful lot of activity going out in kind of the first week to 10 days and then it very much quietens down as we can see here by these empty unallocated spaces now yes three of them are Christmas Eve Christmas Day and Boxing Day but um, I'm making sure that actually I've got everything done in that time so I can just be around family and celebrating and I don't need to focus on any other thing. Um, I've said in another video that it is a much smaller term and you can see that, you know, we break up here. Um, we've got a full week there. We've got a little bit of a week there and then we're back in on the third. So, um, yeah, not a lot of time off. Um, and fully back to school in on the 4th so I know that by that point I will need to make sure that any planning or prepping I have done with regards to um, food and cat things and anything like that all needs to be sorted and in place um, at the minute I'm anticipating the bursary I'm going to work on it being a calendar month so I'm anticipating my January income to go in on the 5th it may go in earlier it may go in later but I do have, as I've mentioned before, my student loan income. Now, there are some things that I have decided to pre-commit to to that anyway. I will pay my January rent payment of £850 as soon as that comes in, so it goes out early. I will also completely clear the last of my council tax arrears, which is £748.50, because that was something that popped up in November, and I want that done and dusted. And I also have my car insurance renewal coming up, and I will move over to an annual car insurance payment that will reduce my monthly bills by at least £65 a month, as I've already planned. And it also means that I'll actually be paying less overall. Um, so I've had budgeted around about £600 for that for that annual car insurance payment but we'll sit and see so immediately there's quite a chunk of change already being taken from that £3,681 but when the £2,000 goes in on either the 5th or the 6th or the 4th or whenever it goes in I don't need to worry about the £850 realistically I will also probably do um, a fairly big, big food stock up and I will order um, bulk order the cat's food and what I may actually choose to do as well out of that money is order two months worth of cat food given the cost of it now and put myself ahead by a month but I'm not 100% sure yet and I really do need to wait and see um, when this is due to go in before I then commit to any further videos where I say this is what I'm going to do this is what I'm going to save this is what I'm going to pay for I just don't know at this point these are the only things that are guaranteed um and I am fortunate enough that um, as well, if this does go in later, any of the bills that are scheduled to go in between the 1st and the 4th will all be covered out of that payment. So once I know what's going on here, I'll have a greater understanding of what basically pot is my money coming from um, and what are my bills going to. But what I've not done on here is I have not included... Um, my own personal spending money that's because I will spend as and when I want to spend that it may be that I spend an awful lot of it when I go into the town on either Thursday or Saturday um, equally I may choose to save it for after Christmas and wait and see what I get for Christmas I'm not 100% sure yet so I've not plotted it in and when I've gone through and made a note of say £20 fuel here £20 fuel there rather than spending kind of my full week's allocation of 40 to 50 pounds in one go is making sure that I always maintain um, half a tank of petrol on my car and filling up um, accordingly. Um, just trying to kind of like ease the cash flow because definitely, you know, a six week month um, like the one I've had has been pretty horrendous and a five week month is not great anyway. So I'm just trying to look for little ways where actually I can make sure that I've got enough cash on hand if I need to. Um, while I then try and establish what I am resetting up. With regards to what is going on with my debt so far, I've got 
£60 worth of committed debt minimums going out on the 8th and then I have got a £300 debt payment going out to the guarantor on the 6th. £100 of that is the minimum, £200 of that is an extra overpayment and at the minute I'm going to try and keep it going that way and that is because I really do need that debt to reduce down by quite a significant amount for um, a myriad of reasons that I've covered before but also realistically um, with the cat now costing more um, and going to cost more for the foreseeable future when I get to a you know a month or a time in my life where I'm not um, getting student loan income as of September next year then actually I may not you know having cleared a large chunk of my debt up to that point means that actually I can take a ease off the brakes a little bit and just make sure my cash flow is okay and I've still cleared it but again not committing to anything like that for now um I'm just acutely aware that uh trying to commit to lots of things um and inevitably not being able to follow through with them is not the healthiest thing in the world so I'm trying to prevent that from happening um but yeah this will now all be transferred into a more traditional um budget um plan form and that will be presented to you guys as a full working budget um either in the next video or the video after depends when i decide to release these but i'm now going to let you go um and hopefully we don't have to come back to the view of me on my sofa i was just far too like warm and sleepy and snuggled to go upstairs where it's cold um so no cat appearance today so um yeah maybe next time but on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and uh, yeah, catch up with you all very soon. Bye bye for now.